What's up everyone, this is Jackson from Windows Phone Hacker and I'm just going to show you something uh, real quick in regards to new capabilities for applications on Windows Phone 8. So this is coming from the emulator, so um, as you'll see in a minute there are a couple of things that are uh, obviously not finalized as they would be in the final version of Windows Phone 7, but hopefully this will give you um, a look at some of the cool new features that are here. Um, real quick though, someone did ask um, over on WindowsPhoneHacker.com about um, how old applications that can be deployed into the emulator or onto uh, theoretically Windows Phone 8 devices, how they look uh, once they are installed and scaled to a different screen resolution. Um, so this one, this uh, this emulator over here is the 720p version and this is the WVGA version that you would see on for example current Windows Phone devices. And so if I open up orientation lock, um, this particular application you can see over on the right it's scaled the way it would be on a Windows Phone 7 device. And over here, uh, either because of the way I have um, this particular Silverlight page could, could just be screwed up or whatever, but it has the page um, moved down a little bit. And then obviously the, the text sizes are different because the zoom uh, is different for these two uh, emulators. Um, but again, as you can see, it sort of moved the content, but the text isn't blurry or anything. Everything is still aligned and spaced as the way it should be. Um, so if you're just curious about how that works, you can load up um, applications with different aspect ratios, um, at least on the emulator, and I would assume the device too. Um, but that's sort of what will happen. So today I just wanted to take a look at the different new uh, tiles that are available on Windows Phone 8. Um, so the first new one over here is just sort of a basic uh, flip tile. Um, and in the code, you have the option to uh, supply a wide back content, regular back title, the regular back content, and of course the images for both back content, uh, I mean for the, for the front and the back and the wide uh, front and back. And so as you can see, if you, you can choose any tile and set it, um, set the option for wide to be enabled or you can disable wide. And as you can see, um, as you would change it, you can just make it uh, different sizes and uh, the different corresponding content in the code will appear. And the flip animation is a little bit different on Windows Phone 8. Okay, so there you can see it sort of flip backwards and bounce forward. So the second type is, this, uh, is a cycle tile, which basically allows you to specify images uh, to appear, uh, which is pretty much identical to what the photos tile does. Uh, and you can set you can set the tile um, for it'll display the images both on the regular as as wide or um, you know as sort of the regular tile size. And you also have the option to set a small background image for the tile. Finally, the last uh, the last tile you can use is called an iconic tile, where you have a little icon and then a title on it. And you can set um, different content on it. Uh, but the most interesting of it is when you put it on wide and you have wide content and you can have uh, these different lines of wide content on it, each line a little bit smaller than the next, uh, and then has the title and a little icon. So it sort of looks like the wide calendar tile that we're used to. Um, or you can have like appointments or etc over on it. Uh, so this is great if you want to display like a lot of information on the wide tile, which is of course what wide tiles are for. So backing away from the tiles, if we look in the code, there are a couple of new uh, tasks that are added, specifically these little share tasks. So if we look over in the tasks namespace, we can see these new share link task, share media task, share status task, and the share task base, which is of course the base class for um, all the social network sharing APIs. Um, interestingly enough, this actually doesn't seem to be working in the emulator build. Uh, which could be it, that it's disabled or it could be unfinished. Uh, but basically what this appears to do is allow you to share links or other things directly to the social networks uh, enabled on the device, which is actually really nice because, you know, if something, if something uh, like an event happens in a game or you want to share something with some people through an app, this way the application itself doesn't really need to have, you know, a separate Facebook or Twitter login. It can actually just run it through the phone, which really makes things a lot easier from a development point of view and for the user who doesn't have to go log into all their different accounts for every single app. Um, so that's a really cool concept, but unfortunately if we load this up in the emulator, 
There you are. I'm trying to navigate to it just sort of navigates to it and navigates back. Which this is a little bit interesting if we look over on Windows Phone 7.8. And this could be completely unrelated. Uh, but if we go over and look at an app, for example, that's a homebrew app. We have this new share option, and if you hit the share button, it tries to navigate somewhere and then the page doesn't exist and it fails to navigate to it. Uh, which is a little bit interesting, um, you know, considering that this is, that's pretty similar to what's going on over here. And last but not least, we have this cool little game invite task that allows you to invite people via their email address or gamer tag. Um, to play the game uh, within proximity or whatever uh, through a connection uh, between you know the peer-to-peer -peer networking on Windows Phone 8 devices um, you know to sort of so you can play games in real time with each other uh, which is of course a known feature uh, but it's sort of a nice little uh, integrated invite system where you can uh, you have a little message there and has the icon of the application and you can just click the invite button and invite people straight to your game. So that's that's also really nice to be able to have a sort of integrated experience to invite people to games that's sort of, you know, it's consistent throughout the phone, um, you know, to connect with people and play games with them. So again, that's pretty cool. So there's just a couple little features that I found in the Windows Phone 8 SDK um, that will be new app capabilities for um, people entering the Windows Phone 8 uh, marketplace. So developers might want to look to that and hopefully we can get some documentation and announcements out about these new features. Other than that, have a great day and I hope you enjoyed the video.